Hey guys! Okay, so today I went online and actually a friend of mine tagged me in something. Today we lost Peter Tork from the monkeys. Yeah, not news that you want to wake up to. So I actually went to the music store and um, I was hoping to find a, you know, a record. I, I didn't find a record that was the Monkees, you know, because I actually only have one record. I bought records for my mom because she said that um, the records that she had growing up of theirs um, mysteriously vanished or were broken. Um, and so for Christmas, I, I bought her more records and um I originally bought them for me and then I I gave them to her for Christmas and um but anyway I was hoping to find something and they didn't have anything not even in their 45s but um I did buy some music and um <laughs> I have to agree with the guy in the store he said you know my Facebook is splashed with everything oh Peter Tork, rest peacefully, Peter Tork, and all this, and he's like, you don't even know who he is. <laughs> but it's a, it's a thing that people do. It's like some, a, a celebrity dies, and all of a sudden you're, you're talking like you've been a fan forever. It's just human nature. But anyway, I'm continuing to just kind of run errands and everything, because at first I was just kind of, kind of, not do anything and then I was like you know what I need to be out <laughs> so anyway <laughs> yeah I actually had a few people where they're like but your email I'm like I was the doorway <laughs> you know I have loved the monkey since I was four years old I um, I watched their TV show. My mom would actually, <laughs> when I would get goofy and, you know, cause kids get into that crazy behavior and it was either Mr. Rogers would settle me down. And it turns out that it was the same with my brother. We would get so crazy that a lot of times some, for some reason, Mr. Rogers would settle us down. And, um, but there was that, and then there was the monkeys. There's a, there was just so much about that show that kids, well, for me anyway, I would latch on to the show. And, uh, you know, they were just being goofy, silly. And then there was the music. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, my mom had a couple records. She did have at least two records that were still around. So, um... Yeah, it's funny how a lot of people are like, but you're emo. I don't sit in my room and just listen to My Chemical Romance all the time. <laughs> no, I, you know, I grew up on Simon and Garfunkel. I grew up on John Denver. Oh, my dad loves John Denver. And I listened to, uh, I mean, there was a bunch of music that I, I listened to before. I, I just, you guys are funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how you guys think it's like think of when the emo era started <laughs> but anyway yeah so it, it's a sad day today we lost peter tork and um so anyway yeah but um i'm trying to think of you know and i've actually when I was in the music store, we were talking about about good times, about uh, the the songs and the um, the show, and he and his wife were his wife was actually talking about how her dad liked a couple of the episodes and everything, and and we were laughing about that. So so it it's a sad day, but we were remembering the good things. So yeah. But it's never easy when you when you lose a celebrity, especially one that's impacted you like this.